Thursday. A short day for me today. Again, of course, my Thursdays and Fridays. If you've already watched my other videos, then you know that by Thursdays, I try to tone it down. So we got four clients today. I'm running a little behind schedule though because I thought my first client was at 9.30, but she's at 9.15. But it's fine, I still made it here. I'm right outside the parking with a little bit of time. So I just gotta run in there and, you know, lay everything out. My tweezers, everything's disinfected. I always like to clean everything really good before, the night before. So when I finish my last client, I leave everything pretty nice and tidy, vacuum, disinfect everything. And I'm very organized. So my lashing area is very organized. I think that would be a good idea. Maybe I'll just add what I have in my lashing space, my go-tos, and I'll just incorporate that into this vlog. So it is the week before New Year's, so New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. We actually just want to stay home and chill and start the new year, relax and with good vibes. I want, I really want to make my vision board. Every year I make my vision board. Just last year I didn't make it. I just didn't have a vision. I didn't know like what are my new goals. So, sorry, I'm just looking at, I was like, there's a guy over there just in his car looking over here. But anyways, okay. <clears throat> Every year I would make my vision board and like everything on my vision board would come true obviously it would be manifested so I didn't do that last year I just felt like I didn't know exactly what I wanted for this year but next year I do have new goals I know what I want so I'm just ready to go and shop and I want to get a big vision board this time and maybe print out some picture paper and then add that all together so I'm thinking of vlogging that too. I think that would be a pretty good video. So you guys can see me as a lash tech, what I have for you know goals in life. Back then, I could probably find my older ones too and I could show you guys what I used to put on my vision boards um, and then where I am now. I'm gonna go inside, at least here on my So I'm officially done with clients for today, but I want to show you guys my lashing space and what I keep in my lashing area. So this is like when you walk in, I'm temporarily here. So it is kind of plain because I'm going to be moving to the back room of the other side of my suite. So this is what it looks like coming in. That's just, uh, I need to get new drawers, but this is what I have for now. This is what what I use to check them out. This is the system I use. And then it's just a whole bunch of extra stuff. The lashes, a whole bunch of lashes, different brands in here. And then this is just like extra stuff that I use for like making videos or making decals, you know, little random things in there. Same thing in here. I'm probably actually gonna put this over here. So same things in here, the remotes for the LED lights deodorant because I always need deodorant I always have deodorant I have just a bunch of random stuff that just needs to go in new drawers a whole bunch of wiring chargers um, the little ring lights just a mess okay <laughs> so that one's a mess it drives me a little crazy but I've been looking for a white drawer that's about this tall or if not taller but I haven't been able to find one so if you guys know about one please let me know um, I have my leg rest here uh, this one really really helps with them taking the pressure off their back my bed also has a cushion on it that is from amazon and it fit the bed really well this is actually a facial bed that's what it's called it's not like the massage beds and this one's actually flipped backwards so 
that's what's supposed to be the feet area and that's supposed to be the head area but if you know facial beds they um, come to a point over here which makes it hard for you to put your tray you see how it, it, it'll just go down the the cushion is squared but it will just fold down so this side is completely squared off which makes it easy for me to just put my tray right here and it stays very sturdy so this is what the bed is like my bed is actually a lot higher than regular beds this is the light I use I don't know what the light is called a half moon light or whatever you guys want to call it this is um, like a gooseneck type thing that holds your phone so you can record uh, my chair I highly highly recommend getting a butt pillow lash text get yourself a butt pillow it will help you so much it takes the pressure off your spine also I recommend getting a chair that's wide enough that's going to support your thighs because a lot of uh, lash checks I see they're barely like their butt is barely sitting on the chair so this chair is super wide by the way I got this at Burlington so if you guys have a Burlington you can find a chair there and I also got this at Burlington I love that they had them there because I felt through a lot of them and this one just felt like the best quality it made my whole lashing so much more comfortable I love it so much so there's my little mirror and um, so the, the girls can see their lashes and then we come over here to my area and this is my reachable area my drawers that I use I just reach over there's my license there this is what I use for my area don't mind the sticker I freaking I cannot take it off uh, anyway so I lay down right now I'm at a bib so I've been using my napkins but I'll lay it down right here and that's where I put my tweezers and what I'm going to use just on that specific client so it looks very clean and put together everything is labeled this one here is my humidifier and then I have my glue right in here new glue and I have my tape here. Everything is sealed. I love everything in a closed container. Um, this is where you, I would put my tweezers that I just use on a client. So you just pop it in there so you don't cross contaminate everything. And then you just take it over to the sink and disinfect. I have my sanitizers here. I have a spray one and a pump one and then my humidifier, which I need to label that. And then just a little decor there and my temperature and humidity there and then this is where I have my go-to so of course every time you need to reach again to grab something I just sanitize so the pump comes in handy because once again you don't want to cross contaminate so I have my spoolies here I need to add more but uh, micro swabs or the lip wands are in here I have glue rings and then I just have my fan here. Uh, I think I'm just going to be keeping my fan in here. So I need to label it. And then usually my scissors are in here. But I don't I have some brushes in here. I don't know why. But that's usually to do lash baths. And then I have my lashes in here. So the ones I keep in here is C, C, and D. Because they are the ones I use the most. This is just more lash supplies I have here in the big cabinet. I have disinfectant. I have where my tweezers go. I just have extra lash trays back there. I think those are samples that I use. I just left them back there. And then I have my water. And then, oh yeah, there were samples because I have the box over there. My lash bath, mirror, just my go-tos, my cellar water if I need it, glue shaker, bonder primer. And then down here, this, I usually have it out. I'm probably gonna put it out again but you know you get those clients that come in with contacts and they forget to bring in their contact case so this comes in handy because they can obviously have one of these and take it home so i have these um they're clean they're new for their contact lenses and then these are single use eye drops and then the contact solution right here and then i just have gloves back there like just in case i have it in the same container and then my fan and then just empty my empty lash trays this is the way i categorize my lashes so i labeled everything by curl so my top drawer is 
my CC, which is what I use the most. So here's my CC lashes. The next drawer is gonna be my D curls and then my C curl. So I personally don't carry that for my personal brand, C curl, so I use different variety of lashes. Right now I've been liking the VI's one and then I have my C curl tray in here. So I know I don't use it that much, but I have it here and I have it sealed and clean just in case. And then here I usually have my dental bibs, but like I said, I ran out, so I need to re-up on my dental bibs. And then down here is just extras, what I need. So I always keep my extra glue, extra tape. I don't use iPads, under iPads, or but if I do a removal, then I will use them. So I have that down there. I just have some random like tweezers in here, lip mask. So not much in here. Usually just my extras, my go-to, and then my trash. We don't need to see that. <laughs> but over here, this is where I keep all my color lashes this is from michael's it came with everything inside as well obviously not the lashes but the trays let me lay this down on my bed to make it easier so i don't want to lay it all the way down because i don't want my lashes to like flip and then get squished but you can see i have all my colored lashes in here so all the colors are in here and then you just pull these right out and yeah you can see the colors in there there's blue and then I have glitter sometimes the girls like to add glitter so I'll make those and then a few extra trays of like I don't know what because I'm like a lash hoarder or something and then I usually just throw my purse right on top of there that's a perfect little space for my purse over here so I do offer brow lamination but I don't really do the service that much I'm more of a lash girl I do more lashes but I just have my wax here this is just a tripod down here I need to re-up on the wax sticks and strips and then down there at the bottom it's just things that I use for lamination and my distilled water just to refill my humidifier and then my sign, I do want to paint that. So that sign has my name, Heidi Lashes and Beauty on there. I need to paint that one and then the salon sign. This one needs to get painted because my colors obviously changed a few times and I just need to paint it and then set it up somewhere again. So that is my lashing space. Lastly, I have a little stool for my clients because my bed is higher. So that is what my lashing space looks like. I hope you guys liked it. You guys can tell I love everything nice and neat. I do not really like the see-through drawers. So this is an exception, but you can see these are not see-through because it just looks very clean. I don't like to be able to see through. I do sell my own product, but I don't keep it in the area. So this is the other side of the salon, and this is where I have the shelving set up. I need to restock a few things, but yeah, I keep all my inventory on this side and the girls just come in because it's way more open over here and they shop right here. I'm gonna head out now. I'm gonna go pick up the kids. I already cleaned everything, vacuumed and everything, so it's time for me to head out. So I just got this massage pad for the lash bed let's unbox it my first time i did break the seal but i didn't fully open it yet so let's open it i'm so excited i'm just hoping the pillow part is wide enough for me to still put my lash tile right next to them i didn't even know it was gonna come this big i don't know what this is i think this goes like on the head part box for something and instructions. I'm going to put this to the side and then I am going to move my things just because I am going to be laying it down. Try it out today. Alright, I'm going to tear it open. This is just going to elevate the whole experience. I've been wanting to get one of these for such a long time. It's 
a heating pad too. So my clients, they get really cold and I'm always really hot when I'm lashing. So I feel bad because I don't really have the heater on, you know, what they would think is, you know, warm enough for them in here in the studio because I get really, really hot and I just can't lash because that just gives me anxiety when I'm that hot and I'm lashing. So it looks like it fits good though. I do want to scoop my cushion down, so it's right over my cushion. I do have roll out client sheet paper, so I'm going to put that right over just so it stays like clean and sanitary for each person. But I'm bringing this all the way back because I'm going to have them laying all the way back. I don't know exactly what this is for. Pillow cover. Oh yeah, it does say pillow cover. So we'll put that over the pillow again. But it has, so the neck part, it has rollers here, but I need to make sure that it's not like moving their head a lot because if it is, then I'm not gonna be able to have that on. But we can have the rest of the pad on where it has like vibration and then it heats up for them. So I might not be able to do this, so I'm gonna tell my clients that I will turn it off, but my two clients today. But if it's like moving them around too much, then I might have to turn it off. Now, we'll figure that out right now. I don't know what this is for. Maybe this is to turn this on. I love that it has like a little pocket. I am gonna like strap it around the bed just so it doesn't move. Okay, so this is the cord to plug it in. That's what it looks like. I don't even know where this goes plugged into, but we are going to find out. Oh, there it is right there I'm just gonna run it under and plug it into the wall right here and I'm gonna try it out first <laughs> because I want to see how it feels I just hope this doesn't make their head too too high up because I like their head pretty flat yeah I'm gonna probably most likely be switching to a shorter bed one of the girls that is Going back to school, she's not going to be lashing anymore. She's selling her bed, and her bed is a lot shorter. Like, this one is, like, up to almost my hip, and hers is just a little higher above my knee. So that's going to be a lot better. I've always noticed that my bed is pretty high. I don't know why. And everybody else that has facial beds, their bed's pretty low. It's about, it's about above my knee. So I will have to get a longer cord eventually because I don't like how it's still hanging up. I want it to just be along the floor. Turn it on. Oh, you can see a movie. I'm gonna bring this, bring the camera closer. Okay, so this is what the bed looks like on top of my facial bed. So this is what it looks like. You can literally see it moving when I hit on. You can hear it vibrating. You can see that moving around. So that's the neck massage. Okay, I'm gonna lay down, I'm gonna try it. This is honestly so relaxing. I'm trying it out and I'm like, oh my God, I just been laying here for so long. It's so relaxing, it feels so good. Like especially, <laughs> you hear my voice vibrate. <laughs> especially the neck part, it just, it feels amazing. It's not really moving me around. I think the clients are going to love this. this Hi, Esther. Good. This Hi. is Esther. How do you like it? It feels good. It feels good? Yes, it feels amazing. Actually, my ass is vibrating. <laughs> <laughs> she approves. I love it. 